Are you one of those people who have the PhotoPills app on your phone, but you're so confused about how to use it that you just don't? Well, in this weekly series, we are going to break down step-by-step -step how to use PhotoPills so that you can start using it in your photography today. So stay tuned. Hey there photographers, Brenda Petrella here, and welcome to the very first episode of PhotoPills Friday, where we unlock the power of the PhotoPills app to help you improve your outdoor photography. If you've ever been confused or frustrated about how to use PhotoPills, you are not alone, and these episodes are for you. If you're not familiar with the app yet, or you've been thinking about maybe buying the PhotoPills app, then this video will show you the basics of what it has to offer and how to navigate the system. So let's get right to it. The first thing we're going to do is open the app and it's available for both iOS as well as Android on Google Play. So once you've opened the app, you'll see at the very top of the screen, three different menu items called My Stuff, Pills, and Academy. And you can scroll left and right in order to see what each of those are. So under My Stuff, it's basically anything that you've saved or that's associated with your account. So this could be plans for photos that you've put together using the app, different points of interests that you want to keep waypoints for, your various settings and whatnot. So you probably won't spend a whole lot of time under My Stuff is sort of where you can save things in the background. If you then scroll to the left, that little menu item at the top will switch to the pills. And this is where all of the tools for photo pills live. So if you scroll down, you can see all of these various tools here. Now photo pills calls each of these things pills because they're supposed to be sort of the, the medicine, if you will, for your pain point as a photographer. That's where the name pill came from. It's a little weird, but that's what it is. Essentially they're tools. So each of these are different tools that you can use as part of the photo pills app. And we're going to get into each and every one of these in the coming video series. So stay tuned to know how to use each of these tools. If we can continue going, you come to the Academy and in the Academy, this is where you'll find user guides, video tutorials, how to articles, and a lot of other things that you can get into in regard to photo pills. Okay. So now let's just go back to the pills again for a moment. The planner is where we're going to be spending most of our time. That is where you're going to find your maps and plan your photo shoots in much, much more detail. And this is where a lot of people get hung up. So we're going to spend a lot of time using the planner and learning how to use it properly. But then there's also these other tools like sunrise, sunset, the direction of the sun and whatnot. Same with the moon, phases of the moon. There's an exposure tool that helps you calculate exposure based on your composition, your settings, whether you're using filters, things like that. There's a depth of field tool that helps you determine depth of field according to your aperture and other settings that you're using. Uh, there's a field of view calculator. There's the depth of field table and a hyperfocal distance table. I've talked about this hyperfocal distance table in many of my other videos. Uh, what I like about it is that it also includes an augmented reality so that you can actually see where the hyperfocal distance is in your scene. Speaking of augmented reality, the night AR tool is an augmented reality so that you can basically see an overlay of the night sky in the scene that you would like to shoot. So that's really handy, especially if you're on location and you want to see if your calculations for say the Milky Way are going to be where you expect it to be in the sky on a specific date. You can plan for meteor showers. Uh, you can calculate camera settings for star trails. Um, you can calculate settings for getting spot on tack sharp stars using the spot stars tool. You can calculate your time-lapse settings. So the interval, the shutter speed, and how many photos you need to take to, for a certain duration of time-lapse. There's a timer. There's also a way of calculating using the subject distance tool, the distance between you and your subject based on your camera settings. And lastly, there's this focal length match, which is basically if you want to compare two different cameras and two different lenses to make sure that you can get equivalent focal lengths and fields of view between those two cameras. So it's just a, a handy tool, probably not one that you'll use very often. 
Okay, so one thing that you should do shortly after downloading the app is enable the widgets. And basically widgets are just like a shortcut on your phone to get you to information about a particular app. And this is available on both iOS and Android, but I'm going to show you how to do it on an iPhone because that's what I have. So from your home screen, if you just scroll to the right, you'll come to the widgets section. And as you can see on my screen, I don't have any widgets activated right now. If you click on the edit button, that will bring you to the place where you can add widgets. And if you scroll down to find the photo pills one and click on the green pluses, that will add those three widgets to your widget uh, menu. And you can reorder these if you hold down and drag and drop on that little right hand hamburger symbol. And so when you hit done, now you can see these photo pills widgets are now available in my little widget area on my phone. And what it's telling me is information about sunrise and sunset, golden hour, blue hour, the moonrise and moonset, and the phase of the moon for my given time and location. It will also show me when the galactic center will become visible in the night. And if I had any upcoming plans already scheduled in my PhotoPills app, it will show me those reminders as well. So it's a very handy thing to have. It's just to quickly assess what's going on in the sky so that you can plan your photos for that day. So the tool that you'll use the most often in the PhotoPills app is likely the planner tool. And it's also the most complicated to learn. In next week's video, we are going to start picking apart the planner. So hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.